Welcome to this video on staying organised in your Teams meetings. So there's a really nice bit of functionality I want to show you here using a loop component when you are creating a Teams meeting. And when you do, you can have a template with an agenda, notes and tasks already created so people can access it before, during and after the meeting. So you're not having to figure out where notes are added. You're not having to scramble them together. You're not having to share them separately. They are all available there within the meeting and you can copy them and paste them into different places as well. So you can share them with different groups of people. So let's have a look at how this works. I'm going to go on to the calendar and I'm just going to do a meeting for this afternoon. So when I click on that, then I can see all of my standard usual screen. I'm just going to do a project update. I'm going to invite someone from my team. And I can obviously go in there, can change the date, the time. I can add a repetition to it if I need to location channel it automatically generates an online meeting which is super useful and obviously i've got loads of functions at the top which i'm not going to worry about in this video because we're just focused here on adding in this loop component now if i scroll down like i have done it says at the bottom add an agenda now we know to be productive in meetings you should really have an agenda so if you're sending it out to people they know what to expect you've got an idea of what you're going to cover and you're not wasting your time or anyone else's time so i'm going to click on add an agenda and when i do you might recognize the icon and it's creating a loop component for me which is already formatted it's got exactly what i need in it you can see here, I've got an agenda, I've got meeting notes, and I've got follow-up tasks. So I can start to build all of this in before, during, and after. At the moment, I've obviously not sent the invite, so it just sits with me. So I can put an agenda in there if I want. I can go in later and put an agenda in there if I need to. Meeting notes, can, points can be added before um, and during, and tasks work just like you'd expect with planner and to do you can see tasks in all of the microsoft applications so really 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 nice now you do have a few buttons at the top here a uh, couple, couple of ones that are really important is copy component so if you want this component to be visible in a channel or on a whiteboard or anywhere else where you can add one um, outside of this meeting then you can just copy it and any updates will be synced between the copies. You can see who has access and you can obviously cancel it if you don't want it on there. But this is a really nice way of pre-preparing and having all of that information in one place. So let me just finish typing before it gets confused. Let's do an update, introduction, a status and plans and let's do an a or b so because i've not done the meeting yet that's the agenda you can do how format that however you want to it add people to it whatever works best for you but then you've got your meeting notes and your follow-up tasks in there so what i'm just going to do is click on send so we can have a look what it looks like once it's been sent and let's just get rid of that pop-up and you can see my meetings there. So if I double click into that, what you'll see now is I've got all of that information. And if I scroll down, bear with it a second, you can see I've got that detail there. So anyone who has access to this meeting now can see the agenda in there so we know what's going on and the meeting notes and the follow-up tasks. So I think this is super useful to add to your team's meetings really quickly when you're generating them in order to start planning, start being productive, start making sure that everyone knows what they're coming to and all of that information that's part of that meeting stays within the meeting. 
So you know exactly where to go and grab a hold of it. Like if you wanted anything from the chat, you wanted the transcript or the recording, you know to go to the meeting. So everything is held there. But remember, you can copy it and paste it somewhere else and it will sync nicely so that you can see that information in channels or on a whiteboard or anything else like that. So this is super, super useful when you're creating a meeting. Definitely have a go at that one. I'm going to start using this more and more often. Loop components and loop workspaces is definitely something that work well for me. Do let me know in the comments if they work for you. And if not, what do you use instead? How do you manage your agendas, notes and tasks as a group if you are meeting on a one-off or a regular occurrence? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.